Prince Harry notably stepped down from his position as a senior member of the royal family alongside his wife, Meghan Markle. Mr. Anderson claimed the move would defy the hopes of Princess Diana, who suggested both the Duke of Sussex and Prince William could be her revenge on the royal family by taking a leading role and steering the monarchy into the future. Speaking to Royal Us, Mr. Anderson said, she would say that, William and Harry are my revenge and by that what she meant was that they would both lead the monarchy into the future. She absolutely would not have liked Harry turning his back on his birthright so that he could sign deals with Netflix. Reports over the years suggested the Princess of Wales was dismayed by the royal family's reluctance to modernize and allegedly told Sir Max Hastings, the former editor of the Daily Telegraph and the Evening Standard, she would have preferred Prince William to take over from the Queen. Sir Max told Channel 4 last year he had met Princess Diana for an almost two-hour-long meeting as she attempted to get across her side of story as she engaged with Prince Charles in what has come to be known as the War of the Windsors. He said, she said that all she cared about was William's succession to the throne and she said to me, quite explicitly, I don't think Charles can do it. The outcome she wanted to see was for Charles to stand aside as heir and for William to occupy the throne. Sir Max admitted to being amazed by the frankness and directness presented by her in the interview. Just three months after the Berkshire meeting, Princess Diana gave an explosive panorama interview to BBC One host and journalist Martin Bashir in November 1995. In the controversial interview, Mr. Bashir asked Lady Diana, do you think it would make more sense in the light of the marital difficulties that you and the Prince of Wales have had if the position of monarch passed directly to your son Prince William? Lady Diana replied, well, then you have to see that William's very young at the moment, so do you want a burden like that to be put on his shoulders at such an age? So I can't answer that question. Mr. Bashir asked again, would it be your wish that when Prince William comes of age that he were to succeed the Queen rather than the current Prince of Wales? Diana replied, my wish is that my husband finds peace of mind, and from that follow other things, yes. The tragic death of Princess Diana ultimately appeared to spur the royal family into modern days, with members becoming more approachable and open to the public. Prince William and Prince Harry both held leading roles since stepping into their positions as working royals, leading their own awareness campaigns on mental health as well as taking on an increasing number of patronages. The Duke of Sussex however renounced his position within the royal family, citing a desire to become more financially independent away from the pressure of royal life.